We use a salt and pepper grinder for pretty much every mill. The problem is every single time you touch these things, there's powder falling out of them. So I've, I decided to solve this problem once and for all using scrap wood that I had in my garage. So I made this nice little salt and pepper mill or grinder tray, and that way every time I touch them, pick them up, or store them, all of the powder is retained within this little reservoir. I had some maple, some walnut, and uh, some oak laying around. Uh, I had a bunch of it in long, small strips that I just kind of tossed to the side. So I kind of got it all together and assorted it in an arrangement and started gluing it together. Uh, I pretty much used the same method for the glue up that I would if I was going to build an end grain cutting board. Using the crosscut sled and the table saw, I cut it to rough dimensions. I took it to the, the joiner and got two perpendicular sides. Then, using the band saw, I cut off most of the front, giving me a pretty straight side. Uh, it was a little too small to go through my power planer, so using a hand plane, I got two parallel sides. I marked out my template on some MDF. and then using a jigsaw, I cut out the inside of it. Using the drum sander attachment for my drill press, I sanded out the inside of the bowl shape so it was nice and smooth. Then using some double-sided stick tape, I stuck the template to my piece of wood. This allowed me to use a flush cut or a template bit for my router and route out the inside of this bowl. I then took it back to the table saw and the cross cut sled and cut it to my final dimension. Then using my router table, I put a little handle on one side and a chamfer down the length of it. Then all it needed was a little bit of sanding and some finish. Since there's going to be around some food, I decided to use four or five coats of mineral oil and then finish it off with a little bit of beeswax. If you've enjoyed this project, comment down below. You can also subscribe and watch some of my previous videos. If you want to build yourself one of these trays, I will provide a link to the plans in the description.